Hey, what's up guys? We have a lot to get to today, so <laughs> join me for the ride. All right, so what we're shaving with is a sample LP scent. It's this Chiseled Face Crematorium Banana. Um, I've used this soap base before from Chiseled Face. They have a secondary soap base, their newer soap base. I haven't tried that yet, and this banana um, scent is not in that new base. So as far as the base, Chiseled Face base that I've used in the past, was excellent. I'm sure this will be the same. Um, I do have it mushed in this. Some of you guys are going to recognize this as Dr. Pooh. So this Dr. Squatch, I was asked earlier in my channel years, like maybe in the first six to nine months of me making the channel to try this soap. I did, and I had a terrible shave with it. Subsequently, that video has had, I don't know, a thousand or two thousand views. And a lot of people, basically everybody that's commented has said that they've had the same bad experience. So, um, the reason I'm even bringing this up is because I've mushed the soap in this tin. I'm kind of like reusing this tin. So, anyway. I guess you could also say that this is the first soap I've ever used fully. Um, and I use it as a bath soap. So, not really a shave soap, but it was designed for. But, anyway. Um, so, yeah. All I did was I scooped out. This is the banana... I just scooped out with my knife here. This is a real busted knife. Um, and just put it on the bottom of the bowl. Or the bottom of this tin. And uh, yeah, so we're going to lather that today. For the razor. This was also sent by LP. He, uh, he sent quite a few razors actually. I was a little surprised. But this is the PAA or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement uh, Ascension. It's the Ascension Select Twist. Um, and so here it is and this thing First impression I haven't used this yet. This isn't a good this isn't gonna be like a full review on this razor um, <clears throat> I'll do a full review on it, but this video is more like first impressions and man that thing looks menacing like um, I asked my wife for her first impressions of this and um, She said it looks scary. So I'm like yeah, it kind of does. You know, that double open comb, it's like, I mean, this is just first impressions. Again, I'm going to say it's going to be hyper aggressive. We'll see. <laughs> and then we're going to use, we're going to use an Astra um, SP, double edge, the green pack. We're going to use that in here. And the only reason is because I have a ton of these blades. Uh, I bought a hundred pack and um, I've used probably a little over half of them at this point. So I, I know these blades fairly well. Um, some people say that those are extremely dull and don't work for them well. I've never had a terrible issue with them. Some blades are kind of off, but... Alright, I'm just squeezing out the water to my brush here. So we're using the Maggard 30... I'm sorry, Maggard 28 millimeter, Super high density badger knot. And this is the fan in the Midnight Blue. So let's go ahead and get the load going here. Hope everybody's end of the week and or weekend... Is getting off to a bang and hopefully you had a decent uh, a decent week just try to enjoy this weekend with your family and friends and everyone will be happy I'm gonna wet the face again I do have I don't know if you can see it still or not it's it was kind of put on a little while ago um, some of my Parasso green uh, pre-shave so I'm gonna kind of wet that and There we go. Right. Cool. So we'll just kind of keep going with this. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Chisel face is base, like I said, it's pretty good. But this is kind of like not about the soap. It's more about the razor, but it's the razor first impressions. Um, it is about the soap as far as the scent and this banana scent. I'm getting, I'm getting candy banana, kind of like. I don't, I mean, I guess it's just called candy banana. I really don't know, but it comes in like a, well, where I am at least, it comes in packs. Um, it's like dry banana covered in some sugar or something. It's like candy banana. And um, that's really what I'm getting from this. Um, there's also those candies that I ate when I was a kid, and I don't remember the name, 
but it was in the shape of a banana. It was a lot of different fruits, you know, candied flavored fruit, little pieces. And there was a banana, obviously it was yellow. I think there was apple, there was um, pear. So yeah, those kind of candy fruit. This reminds me of that smell as well. So just a nice, it's not a natural banana for me. It's just a nice candy banana. So definitely a fun scent. Not something that I could personally use on a day-to-day -day basis. But definitely a fun scent. All right. And like I said, you know, the lather from Chilled Face is always superb. So I'm going to get a little bit on the nostrils there. All right. I'm trying out some water just in the sink. Um, kind of kill the actual water noise of me constantly running it. So let's see how that works. All right. So let's open up this thing. I'm assuming I unscrewed this thinking that maybe it was like a... Um, like a two-piece, like the handle and the base plate are attached, and then maybe this would loosen the top cap, but that's not the case. I think this is more like a decorative thing. Um, I haven't looked up this razor. Like I said, this is first impressions. I haven't went to PAA site. I haven't watched any other reviews with this. So this is just strictly 100% on me, my impressions. I'm not biased in any way. Um, so it's not meant for that. And there is a... Uh, I'll show you the bottom of this base plate. All right. The knurling on that handle, by the way, super aggressive. Super aggressive, which is not a bad thing. I like that. All right. There is a little plastic uh, washer that LP sent with it. Um, he didn't mention that it needed to be taken off during the shave. I'll keep it on during the shave. Um, so we'll put that back on, but this is the bottom of the base plate. It says Ascension Select. I don't know if that's coming right on the screen or not, but, and then obviously, you know, it's just a regular two piece. It has the middle post with the um, threads on it, and then the two posts to hold the blade in place, and the same thing there. All right, so let's get our, let's get our Astra Superior Platinum Blade. Again, this is the green pack of the blades. Let's get this popped open. All right. These come single wrapped, not double wrapped. All right, we'll put it on the top cap here. Try to get that centered. Wow, that thing is, whoo. Can I already tell you it's gonna be super aggressive just by looking at it. <laughs> Kind of scary, like uh, like my wife said. All right, um, I'll screw it down now, but there will be no overhang of the blade, so if that matters to you, that's a non-issue with this razor. Oh, wow, you hear that blade tightening down? That that is a scary sound. All right, all right, the washer's there. Everything looks good. Alignment is very nice. Exposure on both sides equal and even. Like I said, there's there's no um, overhang here. Absolutely none. So that's good in case you want to get close under the nose. All right, guys. The Ascension uh, Ascension Select Twist. I don't know if the twist is this thing. I don't know what the twist signifies, but anyway. All right, first pass. Let's see how it goes. We do have the normal. The normal 24 hours worth of growth. Very, very light pressure here. It's definitely different, like not running the water over the razor and just kind of like doing that in the sink. 
<laughs> I'm just not used to it, you know? I'm used to, uh... I'm used to rinsing it off. I'm, I'm going slow. I'm trying to figure out the angle of this. I'm also trying not to to ride the top cap so much. So the blade is facing down at this angle. So I know that that's going to be a good angle to cut at, but that might be too aggressive for me. So I'm, I'm not trying to ride the top cap where I'm cutting very little, but I'm not trying to go with that super aggressive angle either. So I'm kind of just trying to get the, the right angle that I'm comfortable with. And I don't know if I explained that, but I was just trying to explain. I don't know if I explained that well or not, but. Oh yeah, I mean, there's no doubt no doubt that you feel the blade and there's no there's also no doubt that this thing has the it definitely has the balls to be super aggressive or hyper aggressive if you let it be but what I'll tell you just after that first pass it knocked off quite a bit of growth just on the first pass. Um, about what I would expect, though. You know, that's that's about what my my Rockwell would do on a five to six base plate. So, you know, it's not completely gone, obviously, but it is. It's very efficient. It's also very smooth. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. Let me add some water to my Fuji mug here so I'm not dipping in the, uh, the hair. My melt Fuji mug sent by Alex Gutierrez. Dip a little bit of water in there. So, this blade definitely, or the razor definitely feels very efficient and smooth on the first pass. So, maybe I have nothing to worry about as long as I have a nice, soft touch. Let's see what the second pass. This is actually against the growth on my chin strap area, so let's see. Again, very, very light pressure. This blade is pretty heavy. And like I said, it might. In my actual review that I'm going to have on this blade, I will. Go through all the specs. All right, so what I was what I was just trying there on my upper lip was I was riding the base plate as much as I could and then coming up slowly and just changing the angle just to see where it would, because my, my upper lip is a very, very sensitive area. So if I just go in there willy nilly and I could easily cut my, cut my upper lip up like crazy.
good first pass. I don't know what really happened here. It doesn't hurt. I don't have any pain. Maybe I just had a couple bumps there. Irritation. I don't really know. But second pass. Felt fine. Like I said, I don't feel anything there. That might have just been weepers. I don't know. Um, my neck area against the grain needs some work on these sides. Um, my cheeks going up, definitely. It didn't really touch any of that, honestly. But everything else feels very nice and smooth. From a two-pass, this is presentable to me. You know, just going through a two-pass with this razor. But most people do three passes, I believe. So we'll do a third. Yeah, the scent on this soap is, like I said, it's a fun scent. It's not something, again, that I would want to use on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's it's a nice, it's a nice, fun scent. That's exactly what it is. Um, so, you know, if you're into like a candy-type fruit, specifically banana with, with this soap, then, uh, you know, this might be a soap you'd like to check out from Chisel Face. All right, let's finish her up. We may have to do some touch-ups, I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, we have some weepers here. I'm kind of cross the growth there in my little neck crevices. My spirals. <laughs> the same spiral I have on top of my head up here is the same spiral I have here and here. So, <laughs> very nice against the pass growth or against the growth pass. It's actually a really, really nice feeling. The, um, you know, the open comb on the upper lip. It really, really is. Like the rest of my face, I can't say that I specifically feel the open comb. But like I said, my upper lip is pretty sensitive. Um, and it's just, it's like a satisfying feeling for whatever reason. It's like the, you know, the water, the, the soap, the slickness kind of like it just gliding there. Like... I feel like even without a razor in this, it would just be satisfying for me to like rub this on my, on my top lip up here. I don't, I don't know why. I'm just saying like, <laughs> maybe that's weird. I'm going to let some of this water out here in the sink. But um, yeah, it's like a satisfying feeling on my upper lip. My upper lip, even, even with, there was a ton of hair in here. Even without going against the grain, feels very smooth. Cheeks. Cheeks are perfect. Uh, chin. Right here. Maybe I just missed right here. So I'll go back and hit this. Um, and my neck. My neck's good. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin here. A little bit of lather. And just knock that down. 
But yeah, as far as this razor, man, it's impressing me. It is aggressive. It's efficient. But truthfully, I think it's very smooth. It's it's a very smooth aggressive. I don't feel like I mean I'm sure if I wanted to, I could go a million miles an hour and do a real quick shave and probably sl slice my face up like Sweeney Todd. But doing it how I did it, you know, kind of slow, methodical, you know. I don't feel like I had too many issues. Let me rinse the hair from around the sink here. Rinse off the face and then we'll we'll really feel. So I do have a couple of weepers. Um, let me see, let me put some cold water on. Typically when I finish shaving, I can put cold water on my face and feel if it's like a, gonna have, if I'm gonna have a razor burner or whatnot, cause it kind of burns. Maybe here a little bit, like there's a little bit of burning here. But nowhere else, you know, not where I had any of the weepers, so. It's a pretty good shave. It's a pretty good shave for the razor that I thought was going to be super aggressive. All right, we're going to go with some Thayer's. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a full review on this razor. No, well, uh, oh, yeah, not on the blade, which is inside the razor, but on the actual razor. And um, yeah, we'll do a full review there. But I want to use it a couple more times. So for the next two to three shaves, I will be using that razor. Um, it'll probably be... Probably be unrecorded. I don't know, maybe I'll record one. I might do a shave in between the shaves with the Ascension Select Twist, just to kind of break up the monotony on the channel. And then I'll upload the actual review, which isn't gonna be that long, maybe a couple minutes, of the razor going over the specific specs pricing, that type of thing. And then obviously my full thoughts on the razor. But like I said, first impression, and you can see like this, none of this was bleeding. This is just irritation from when I use that assured razor. There's a reason that it's in the box in the other room. I can't use that. Um, and I don't know, I just have irritation. That's it, you know? Has nothing to do with this razor. This razor performed exceptionally well, even with me having the irritation. And the light touch that I used probably had a lot to do with that. So, all right, what are we gonna use? Let's go with the, uh, let's go with Parasso. They're, they call it, I mean, they call it like a liquid cream and that's, that's what it is. But I'm gonna call it a balm. So we'll go ahead and get some of that. If we can get any, Jesus, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. All right, very nice scent on this. I do appreciate you guys watching. I'll go over the products one more time before we uh, say our goodbyes, but um, the soap itself, the Chisel Face Crematorium Banana Soap, really nice base. Like I said, I haven't tried their, their second base, but um, their original base, definitely excellent. Uh, so that's what we use for the soap, Chisel Face Crematorium's Banana. Uh, we use Parasso for the pre-shave, our Maggard 28mm Super High Density Fan Badge or Not Midnight blue handle for the razor we use the paa 
Ascension Select Twist. <laughs> There's a lot. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. The so the Ascension Select. That it's a mouthful. This razor, <laughs> and I'm assuming I don't know, but I'm assuming Lingua File changed this. I mean, this looks like a um, like a uh, gunmetal or or yeah, like a gunmetal finish, kind of like my uh, my six C. Um, it's a little darker than the six C, but it kind of looks like a gunmetal finish. But yeah, we used that razor and we used Astra razor blades, and then we finished it off with some Thayer's. Rose petal and Parasso aftershave balm. So, like I said, hope everybody has a good shave. Um, comment down below on what your weekend looks like, what you plan on doing this weekend. Um, it's supposed to rain here. We have a tropical depression down in the Gulf of Mexico. So, just right, right south of Louisiana. Um, as I record this, it's about 12 hours out. Um, not. I mean, we're going to have a little bit of wind, a whole lot of rain, so uh, we'll be okay, though. I mean, you know, no big deal. Just can't do anything outside this weekend, so. All right, guys. I'll, uh, I don't know what happened. I think the AC cut on the door, like, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next shave. I appreciate you watching this video, uh, taking your time out of the day, and, uh, yeah, hope I uh, entertained and gave you some informative information, and I'll see you next one.